In the sprawling metropolis of Thede, on the resplendent planet of Naboo, a boy named Palpatine was born into a world of deceptive tranquility. Unbeknownst to his doting parents, his birth coincided with a rare celestial alignment, prophesied to herald the rise of a shadow that would one day engulf the galaxy. From his earliest days, Palpatine was a prodigy enveloped in enigma. Though his family belonged to the distinguished lineage of House Palpatine, noted for their diplomatic contributions, there was an unmistakable fire in young Palpatine's eyes on insatiable curiosity that veered often into the forbidden and arcane. His father, a well-respected ambassador, and his mother, a scholar of art, watched with a mixture of pride and unease as their son quickly surpassed his tutors in knowledge and cunning. As adolescence took hold, Palpatine's inquiries delved deeper into the dark corners of the galaxy's vast lore. He was particularly entranced by the tales of the Sith, ancient warriors who wielded the dark side of the Force, a stark contrast to the benevolent Jedi who occasionally visited Naboo on their peacekeeping missions. These stories were meant to be cautionary tales, but to Palpatine, they were irresistible sparks that lit the kindling of his ambition. His break came unexpectedly during a routine trip to the capital with his father. As fate would have it, their transport broke down in one of the remote sectors of the planet, near the ruins of an ancient Sith temple, long buried and almost forgotten. Sensing an opportunity, Palpatine feigned illness, sending his father ahead to seek aid while he ventured into the dark heart of the temple. Within its suffocating halls, he found Eda Holocron, pulsating with dark energy. The artifact spoke to him, whispering secrets of power that could bend the will of galaxies. The Holocron also spoke of a prophecy, one where a Sith Lord would rise to rule supreme, a ruler reborn from the ashes of dark legends. Palpatine felt a surge of destiny. This was his path, and his alone. As the years passed, he masked his true studies under the guise of academic pursuits. His charm and intellect made him a favorite among Naboo's elite, and his forays into politics were as calculated as they were successful. All the while, the dark side coursed through him, molding him not just in mind but in spirit. His ambitions grew, as did his proficiency in dark side techniques, cloak and dagger diplomacy, and political manipulation. The young scholar's face that once bore an open, curious expression, slowly hardened into the calculated, inscrutable mask that would one day be known only as Emperor Palpatine. Yet, even as he climbed the political ladder, the lure of absolute power isolated him. Friends became pawns, and family distant memories. Palpatine's heart grew colder, his shadow longer. By the time he revealed himself as the Sith Lord Darth Sidious, Palpatine had no true confidence left, only instruments of his will. His transformation was complete, his innocence lost to the dark currents of his ambition. Thus the galaxy would come to know a rule of iron and fear under the reign of a boy from Naboo who once dreamed of stars, only to become the darkest star of all.